Okay, everyone, just like the other day, if you took, if you took a Tuesday's class, you know we needed some socks, so get a pair of socks, at least one pair, um, but if you can get multiple pair, that works also. Okay, get those going, then come back, and let's get started. Okay, guys, face me, attention, and bow. Okay, let's get warmed up. Again, we're gonna do a real quick warm up. Um, the first thing I want you to do is we're gonna get our ankles uh, and, and uh, kind of calves warmed up. We're just gonna do calf raises. So that means you're gonna come up and down, up and down. So I'm kind of rocking up on the balls of those feet and come back. Let's do about 20 of these, okay? I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last one. Okay, now just go ahead and hold your leg up and you're gonna circle your ankle, okay? Notice how I'm just kind of circling in one direction. Okay, now go the other direction. Good, now switch feet. Okay, and just circle in one direction. It doesn't matter which way you guys go, because we're gonna do both anyway. Good, and then circle the other way. Nice, you guys. Okay, we're gonna do 20 jumping jacks. Okay, with me, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Shot, okay, now we've done these ones before in some of the previous classes. Um, and I don't really have a name for it. We'll just call them uh, kind of trunk twists. That's where you're turning the lower body, okay, one way as you're turning the upper body the opposite way. So I see how I turn my hips and feet that way, my upper body goes this way, then I switch. And you want to try to get into a rhythm. We'll go back 20 seconds, okay? Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, guys, good work. Fix your belt, fix your uniform, whatever you guys are wearing. Mine's coming undone here. Okay, now we're going to do side to side slides. Again, we're going to go about twenty seconds. So, however much room you have, if you don't have much room. Just do real short slides, okay? So you're gonna slide, touch the ground, slide, touch the ground, back and forth, okay? 20 seconds, go. Slide, touch. Very nice. Now, um, we're going to do one-legged hops, and we're actually just going to stand in place, okay? We're going to go about 20 seconds on each leg, and just kind of hopping on that one leg. This is really good for developing your ankle strength. Um, you know, your, this, uh, your ankle strength, your calf strength, all that. Really good stabilizing muscles for your, your martial arts training. Okay, 20 seconds, and go. More seconds, you guys. Good. Okay, that's about 20 seconds. Okay, let's do that other leg now. Ready and go. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a, a one-legged hop, but I'm kind of hopping from side to side, okay? You can see on the, the video here, I have the blue mat and I have the gray mat. What I'm gonna do is hop back and forth like this, okay? And for you guys, you can just kind of have an imaginary line and you're practicing hopping from side to side of that line, okay? 20 seconds, ready, go. Okay, good. Yeah, 
These ones really work those legs. Okay, guys, switch legs, other leg. Okay, ready, and go. Excellent work. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Okay. Let's go ahead and start some stretches here. Um, keep your legs straight. Reach down. Try to grab your toes. Okay. Go ahead and come on up. Put your feet double shoulder apart. We're going to bend down on one leg. We call this a half squat. Good. Now switch legs. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Okay, like I said, this was a real quick warm up. Let's finish with 10 stretch kicks. Get all done with you guys today. Fighting stance. Okay, ready? One, make sure you're breathing out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, you guys. Okay, let's get started. Okay, guys, there have been uh, two techniques we've been working on a lot lately, and we're actually going to combine those two techniques into a combination, okay? We've been working on the sliding side kick and the back fist, and both those techniques work really well together. It's a great attacking combination. So I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to get into fighting stance. Okay, now choose which leg you want to have in front, okay? I got my left leg. You can put your right leg or left leg. It doesn't matter. We're going to be using the, the front leg and the front hand. So it'll be left and left or right and right. It doesn't matter, but you won't do left leg, right hand. Okay, it's got to be the same side. So the combination is this. We're going to slide side kick and back fist with the same hand. I like throwing this combination in sparring because the side kick, you know, we kind of throw it to the body and it distracts the person. They might block it with their arms which means their head is open, so I can throw that back fist, okay? So let's practice this. We'll do a few together, and then I'm gonna have you practice on your own. So get ready, put that strong leg in front. Ready, slide, side kick. And notice I haven't landed yet. As I land, I throw the back fist, okay? I don't wanna go like this. Side kick, then back fist. It's too late, okay? The person's already blocked and they've gotten out of the way, okay? It's gotta be, Kick back, one, two, okay? So slide, side kick, boom. Right as you land, if you watch, I'll do it sideways so you can see. Right as my foot lands, that's when the back fist is coming out. Okay, watch again. Slide, side, boom, back fist, okay? And if you guys remember from the other day, when we throw that back fist, we don't leave it out there. We wanna pull that back. Remember how I had you guys with that towel, hopefully no one used that for evil purposes. Okay, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so again, we're gonna slide side, boom, back fist, and return, okay? Let me make sure you guys on the other side. Okay, so now my right leg's in front. I'm gonna slide side, back fist, and return. Okay, it's up to you guys to practice now. You're gonna hit pause and practice three minutes with your left leg in front and three minutes with your right leg in front. So what's three plus three? Six. You got six minutes of practice. Go ahead and get started. Hit pause right now. Okay, guys, we're gonna work on 22B real quick. Now, 
earlier in class, we had you guys work on those low stances. So I expect your core stances to be perfect today. We're gonna work on keeping them low. Um, as I said, you know, doing those low stances uh, really helps to make those legs strong, okay? Um, so 22B, let's start from the beginning. Okay, number one, core stance. So, air, and my knees are bent. Two, punch, air, three, punch, air, four, across and up, five, across and up. Okay, ready position. I'm gonna see you guys do the first five moves. I'm gonna count, you're gonna do it. Okay, ready position. Ready, number one, core stance. Number two, punch. Three, punch. Four, upper block. Five, upper block. Hold it, don't move. Okay, number six, bring that hand to the shoulder, down block. Look how that arm is right above the leg. Number seven, down block with the other hand. Let's try that one more time. Down block and other hand, down block. Okay, guys, ready position? First seven moves, you're going on my count, okay? Number one, four sticks. Number two, punch. Three, punch. Four, upper block. Five, upper block. Six, down block. Seven, down block. Hold it, don't move. Number eight, bring the hand to the ear. Inside block, look how I turn, I twist that arm. Inside block, number nine, inside block. Keep that chance low, you guys. Let's do that again. Inside block and inside block. Okay, ready position? Okay, first nine moves on my count. Ready, number one, four stance. Number two, punch. Number three, punch. Four, upper block. Five, upper block. Six, down block, bring the hand to the shoulder, down. Seven, down block. Eight, from the ear, inside block. Nine, from the ear, inside block. Hold that last move. Number 10, come across and out. 11, across and out. Let's do that again. Across and out. 11, across and out. Number 12, open up your hand, make a fist, come together, salutation, okay? You guys are gonna show me the first 12 moves, but this time, a little different. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Make sure there's nothing around you. Okay, the TV's not in front of you. I don't want you guys to like punch the TV or something, okay? Or the iPad or whatever you're practicing on. Close your eyes, listen to my voice, okay? Eyes closed, no peeking. Okay, ready, number one, four stance. Number two, punch. Three, punch. Four, upper block. Five, upper block. Six, down block. Seven, down block. Eight, inside. Nine, inside. 10, outside. 11, outside. 12, salutation. Excellent job, open up your eyes real quick. We're gonna practice that again, but this time, your eyes are gonna be closed, and I'm not saying the moves. I'm just gonna count, so you gotta remember the move based on the number. Okay, eyes closed, eyes closed. Okay, ready, listen. Show me a good ready position, guys. Ready, number one. Two, keep them eyes closed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, knees bent. I see some of those legs getting straight. Nine, I can see through the camera into your house. 10, 11, 12. Excellent job. Okay, my dragon and white belts, that's as far as you have to know. So um, I want you to practice that a little more. So you're gonna hit pause and practice that five more times, unless you want to learn the rest of the form. If you wanna learn the rest of the form, you can follow along with everyone else, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna turn around backwards because this is probably the way that makes the most sense to you guys. So we're gonna start at salutation. Okay, number 13, step back, fighting stance. Number 14, front kick, step forwards. Number 15, front kick, step forwards. Now 16, we're gonna turn our head and shout. So I go turn and shout. Aya! When you turn and shout, don't move your feet. A lot of people do this. They, they like turn the wrong way. They turn this way and then they switch their feet, okay? If you have to switch your feet, you did it the wrong way. Let's try it again. Okay, start from salutation, okay? Number 13, fighting stance, Aya! 14, front kick, 15, front kick, 16, turn and shout. Number 17, sliding side kick. I know you guys know the sliding side kick. We've done it a million times this week. Slide, side kick, okay? Now again, we're gonna turn and shout. Are we gonna move our feet? Hmm, nope, we're not gonna move our feet. We're only gonna move our head. Turn and shout, Aya! Okay, so we're gonna go sliding side kick. Now, with your left hand, I don't know if you guys can see this, we're gonna do a back fist with that left hand, okay? Now, with the other hand, that right hand, punch, and then step back, salutation. 
Okay, guys, let's try that. I'm not going to do the moves with you. I'm going to tell you the moves, but you're going to do it on your own. So show me salutation. Okay, show me number 13, fighting stance. Number 14, front kick, step forwards. Number 15, front kick, step forwards. 16, turn and shout. 17, sliding side kick. 18, turn and shout. 19, sliding side kick. 20, back fist with that left hand. 21, punch, hey -ya! And 22, salutation. Okay, guys, do you think you can do it without me telling you the moves? Okay, I think I heard you guys all say yes. So I'm gonna assume you said yes. I'll count, but I'm not gonna say the moves. So show me salutation, okay? Ready, number 13. 14, 15, 16, that's the target shot. I'll give you a little hint. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I should have heard that big shout, and 22. Okay guys, this is your final exam. You have to do the entire form, eyes closed, without me telling you the move. So make sure you have room, okay? I don't want you guys to, again, kick your, your television, kick the wall, kick the cat, kick the dog. Okay, if you don't have room, keep your eyes closed. Okay, guys, we gotta use common sense. Okay, eyes closed, we're doing the entire form from the very beginning, ready position. Okay, and I'm not telling you the moves. Eyes closed, no peeking. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you're all keeping those knees bent. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and last move, you guys, this is the easy one, 22 citation. Okay guys, hopefully you got to that whole thing and you didn't kick anything or anybody. Um, excellent work on that 22B. Okay guys, show me that fighting stance. Okay, the other day, if you guys took the, the session we did on Tuesday, you know, we worked a lot on your jab. Okay, jab is that punch with the front hand. Today we're focusing on the reverse punch, our back hand. Okay, so get in that fighting stance, put your strongest hand behind you. That's the one that you normally fight with, okay? So let's just practice our reverse punch. I want you to take that back hand. I want you to turn, punch, and come back. Now when I say turn, I mean turn your shoulders, turn your hips, turn your foot, turn your leg, but don't turn your head, okay? Watch, see how I'm looking forwards in the mirror? I turn everything, but my head didn't move. I kept my eyes forward. A lot of people, when they do their reverse plunge, will do this, and they'll turn their head, they turn everything, okay? Don't turn your eyes, because you wanna see where you're attacking, and you wanna see your opponent, okay? So ready, turn, punch, and come back. Let me turn sideways again so you can see how I turn my foot. I can turn that leg. I turn that foot and come back. If I don't turn my foot, if I try to turn just my shoulders and my hips, you know, it doesn't go very far, okay? I want to turn my whole body, that foot included, and come back. That will give me um, a stronger punch and a longer punch. Okay, what I mean by longer is, you know, if I can only reach here, I can't punch very far. But if I turn, now my punch reaches further. I can hit someone from further away, okay? So let's practice a couple punches together. Let's do 10 real quick, okay? One, and back. Two, and back. Remember I talked to you guys earlier when we were doing one step to keep that hand up next to your cheek? Remember that. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Relax your arms. Now, it's important to bring your punch back just as it is important to throw it fast. Okay, to throw it out there fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our punch out and we're going to pull it back. Okay, um, imagine you're grabbing like a, like a rip cord and you're pulling that back. Okay, um, so we're gonna reach out, we're gonna grab that, then whoop, pull back as quick as possible. Try to get, hold that hand out there. Ready, and two, and back. Ready, three, and back. Good, four, and back, five, and back, 
Six and back. Seven and back. Eight and back. Nine and back. Ten. Okay, guys, relax. Okay, so remember I told you earlier to get some socks? That's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so grab your socks. I got mine right here. I don't know if you guys can see. These are my special uh, Boba Fett socks. Hopefully you guys know who Boba Fett is from Star Wars. Okay, so we're gonna hold the socks in our front hand, um, and you're gonna throw it up, and we have to punch the socks out of the air. Now again, if you did the class on Tuesday, you remember the jab practice? Our goal is to punch them straight, punch them forwards. If you're punching downwards, I didn't hit them, I missed that, okay? If you're punching downward, you know, that's not a good punch, it's not gonna hit. Imagine someone trying to hit you and doing that, it's gonna like, like brush you off. It's not gonna do anything, okay? So we wanna punch. Oh, that was pretty good. See how that one went straight? And we're gonna throw that up, boom, punch. That one was a little crooked, okay? So that's what you're gonna do for the rest of class, you guys. Practice for about five minutes, okay? Okay, get going, good job.